guys, this is Jacko from Mighty Tiger Outdoors. And uh, today, um, you're gonna join me, hopefully, for another um, little hiking trip. Um, just a little bit of a hiking trip. Uh, you know, I couldn't say no to this be beautiful day. Uh, as you can probably tell, it's very sunny and uh, there's no clouds in the sky right now. We had a, a pretty good amount of thunderstorms last night. So um, there's a, a fair amount of uh, moisture on the ground and uh, a lot of uh, pooling saturation uh, of water in there. But um, you know the weather, the, the temperature is just right. Um, it feels great. It feels awesome to be out here. Uh, I couldn't get out last weekend so I was kind of feeling that I needed some uh, dirt time. So what we're going to do today is basically just test a few gear. Um, or pieces of gear um, and uh, see what happens um, I've got a few things that I just kind of want to test out and you know different weights to uh, load the backpack just look at that that's supposed to be the trail and that's the water coming off the trail beautiful scenery isn't that awesome anyway uh, so yeah we're gonna be testing um, a little bit of gear um, just uh, different ways to load the backpack just to see what's more comfortable or what distributes the load very well and in the words of my good friend uh chris from Wyndham woodcraft i hope you can join me for a walkie talkie that's uh that's what he calls it whenever uh you go out and you know start walking and talking at the same time with the camera pointing out to you so my friend i, don't, I hope you don't mind uh, me using your term uh, i think it's a very cool term and you know couldn't describe what we do uh better so Stick around and uh, we'll just enjoy the day. Now I know I'm not in the middle of the wilderness. I'm not like way out there, you know, hundreds of miles from uh, civilization, but I mean, could you ask for a more, or a more perfect background? I mean, check that out. You know, you can hear over here, I don't know if the microphone's gonna pick it up, but you can hear over here the water running, sun is shining, everything's nice and green. I see some uh, orange flowers over there, we'll check those out later. But this is life, guys. What a beautiful day. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and uh, tuck my boots in to my pants um, for two reasons. One is obviously um, the mud, the amount of moisture. Uh, and two, um, I started feeling a little bit of itching in my left leg and all of a sudden I realized that my entire left foot was covered in uh, fire ants. Now if you don't know what fire ants are, um, we have them here. In Texas and I'm sure most parts of the south and they're basically small little ants but they have a very powerful bite what they do is they bite you and they hang on to your skin and then they just kind of start twisting uh, with their mandibles attached to you and I personally don't have too much of a I guess an aversion to uh, fire ants but if you're allergic, you can actually swell up pretty bad. Probably five times more than a mosquito bite. And uh, the initial sensation of the bite, it basically feels like a cigarette burn or any kind of burn. You know, when you first feel that burn on your skin, that's exactly what it feels like. For some people that are a little bit more sensitive to that, it stays a long time with them that sensation and again if you're allergic it just kind of makes you swell up especially if you have multiple bites which it's like likely to happen if you have one bite you will probably have about five or six at least um, I'm not allergic so 
what it does to me I might get a little small uh, red bump that's about it I don't feel that much of a burning sensation I guess I'm kind of like my grandpa he uh, he never gets super attacked by uh, mosquitoes or other things and when we do we don't have much of a reaction sometimes don't even feel it I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little bit winded guys but I haven't done this in about two three weeks so I may be a little bit out of shape and I'm kind of going uphill so Whew. So some of the uh, parts of the trail are, are flooded. Um, we've been kind of blessed in the last couple of weeks, I guess. We've been having a good amount of rain. Um, I think a little bit more than usual, um, but it's good. Yeah, you know, we always need water here in Texas because, you know, our lakes, our uh, water reservoirs are still kind of, uh, oh, there's a skunk over there. I'm not gonna show you guys because he just went into the brush and I can't zoom with, with the GoPro, but um, anyway. Um, yeah, uh, reservoirs are, are pretty low and they've been low for years, um, local reservoirs. So, um, you know, we definitely need the water. Summer gets very hot in this part of uh, North Texas. Um, you know, we can reach temperatures of, you know, 110, 112 degrees Fahrenheit. So. Um, it gets fairly hot and uh, that water evaporates fairly quick so you know we like to take all the rain that we can get I'm not complaining about the rain I like the rain it makes it for a muddy trail but once again muddy tiger outdoors right I usually in my videos <clears throat> not often I do a lot of shout outs um, probably because I forget or most of the time I just forget to do shout outs um, but I think I'm gonna be doing a few shout outs in this video and the first one or I guess the second one since I already talked about uh, Chris from uh, Wyndham Woodcraft whoops whoops <laughs> um, I want to talk about my uh, my good friend Jeremy uh, from uh, Country Prepper uh, he's a great guy. Uh, we, you know, kind of talk on uh, Facebook sometimes, and also on on YouTube uh, from time to time. He's got a great channel. Uh, he does a lot of uh, gear reviews. He gets out and walks and enjoys nature like most of us. Um, but recently, he posted uh, he needs some help. He's a cancer survivor, and he's in chronic pain too. Um, so he posted. Uh, on his fa Facebook, you know, um, that he, he may need a little bit of uh, help from uh, a lot of great guys out there. So, if you have a chance, and if it's okay with uh, Jeremiah, um, please go and check him out. He's got a, uh, a fa like I said, a YouTube page, uh, Country uh, Prepper, and his uh, personal page is um, Jeremiah. Um, I think his last name is Jewel. I hope that's how you pronounce it. If not, I'm sorry um, but I'll post a link to his page and uh, you know you can check him out and go talk to him at least uh, you know give him your good wishes and prayers and all that kind of stuff you know it's always nice to you know come together and, and support someone that needs it or you know just at least give a, a good thought a good um, a prayer I guess now one of the things that I'm testing out today, um, like I said earlier, is this um, drop leg uh, pouch. And you know, it's it's got a good amount of weight, nothing too heavy. Um, you know, I'm just trying to see if it's going to be a, an option for whatever I used to carry right here in my chest. And so far I like it. So far it feels comfortable. It swings a little bit. It may be a matter of uh, adjusting the straps so it holds a little bit tighter. Um, but it feels comfortable it's kind of out of the way um, right here I'm not I'm not feeling like I'm you know carrying too much weight here um, I think the weight is very well distributed so that's not a pain in the butt um, 
I'm happy so far. It feels it feels pretty good. I can carry a little flashlight here on the side too. So um, I'm still gonna be carrying my uh, chest harness or my chest uh, pack. Um, I'm just gonna configure it a little bit different and uh, you know probably carry a lot less or, or, or uh, less weight, so it's a little bit more comfortable. Now I do have a few other things that I'm uh, testing out, but those you will see in a separate video. I just want to ded dedicate a, a video to at least one particular thing that I'm going to be kind of showcasing today. And uh, um, it's kind of a replacement for uh, something else that um, was a little bit too bulky. So if you've seen some of my videos, you, uh, you probably know what I'm talking about. Wow, talk about um, <clears throat> talk about flooding. Um, I've walked this trail several times, and I have never ever seen this pond right here. Well, it's it's not a pond. It's it's a uh, it's just a flooded area right here. I guess I didn't realize that we have had a lot more rain. Um, that I really thought. That's pretty impressive. That's that's a lot of water. Be curious to see the rest of the areas where I know um, there's more space or, or more um, indentation in the ground for a pond. Trail gets a little bit uh, treacherous right around here. There's a lot of uh, uneven uh, incline and there's some uh, tree roots sticking out so the mud makes it a little bit slippery you just kind of have to be careful just to take your time make sure you don't rush it otherwise you fall and at the very least you get dirty at the very worst you break something and we don't want to do that wow this is I don't think I've ever seen it that overgrown before. It's amazing how things change from season to season. <laughs> That's a good incline. I kind of wish I had a, a trekking pole right now um, just to make sure I don't fall on my butt. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna do it all my in style, and that's kind of sideways, sideways, one foot in front of the other. Try not to step on the frogs. There we go. Whoa. Well, as much as I enjoy being in there, um, in the woods, I'm coming out to this clearing and it's a little bit of a relief because the spider webs in there are kicking my butt. There's a lot of spider webs and I don't really care for spiders much. I don't, I don't quite like them. So I think I have two options. Option A is I can continue on to this trail under the sun, getting a little hot or I can go to that trail right there, which is um, a little bit more shaded. And, uh, huh, what to do? I think I'm gonna go this way. Another thing that I forgot is my mosquito repellent. Um, because of the water accumulation, there's a lot of mosquitoes and you know, sometimes it's kind of a good, good idea to carry mosquito repellent. Um, unfortunately, that's in Laurel's uh, bag. And obviously Laurel's not with me today, so that, um, that kind of stayed in her bag and I didn't think to bring it over here, so. Oh well.
I could just stay here and listen all day long. That's not supposed to be a creek, that's uh that's the trail. Isn't that cool? Well, I already slipped. I didn't make it all the way down to the ground, but I did slip coming down from there. And I kinda wish I filmed it just so you know it would have been a a comical moment I guess. But I didn't. Man, it's so nice out here today. So it's around 11 o'clock and um, <clears throat> starting to break a sweat a little bit. It's probably about, I would say, 70 degrees right now. It's supposed to get up to 80. Um, of course, the humidity is definitely high, at least in the shade. Um, the trail where we were going, um, it's actually inaccessible due to the water. So we're pacing back. And uh, we're gonna try to find another trail. That it's a little bit more doable. It's definitely a lot harder to navigate uh, in the mud because you're constantly having to avoid the deep areas and almost like you're zigzagging along the trail. And of course you're still kind of fighting the stickiness of the mud. So it's a little bit more of a I guess a, a calorie burner activity. Of course, I have to come back down because I don't want to leave the camera here. I'll tell you what, guys. It's um, it's about time to stop by and have some lunch. Um. I kind of forgot to restock on um, dehydrated meals, so I uh, didn't have any to bring today. But what I do have is just a can of beans. That'll do. Um, just a can of beans. So it's definitely a little bit he uh, heavier than uh, just bringing a dehydrated meal. But you know what? It's 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 good. It's all good. Once uh, I eat it, the pack's going to get lighter, so that's not going to be a problem at all. All 
All right, guys, so it's about time to stop and have some lunch. Um, it's barely 11.41, but I didn't have any breakfast. And uh, I'm definitely feeling kind of hungry. So um, like I was saying earlier, we have some beans, um, seasoned uh, pinto beans. So I think, um, I'm not sure, but I think I can uh, put this um, on the stove without having to dump it onto my uh, container. So I'm gonna give that a try. Hope it's safe. I did bring a can opener. I need to get me a smaller, probably even uh, something like a, a P51 can opener, something like that. But um, anyway, let's go and uh, get this opened up and uh, have some lunch. By the way, I've been kind of wanting to get one of those uh, Trangia alcohol stoves. Um, they seem kind of nice. So if you guys are watching and if you have one of those uh, uh, Trangia stoves, definitely let me know what you think, if you like them, if you, if you don't. Um, I've been kind of doing some research, but I just haven't around, or I just haven't gotten around to um, purchasing one of those. There's been a lot of things that I've been kind of trying to get for uh, you know using and taking to trips and stuff like that so my wish list is kind of big I think that'll work what I'll probably do is I'll go and shake it just a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the label. There's a trash can right behind the camera, so we'll definitely make sure that all the trash makes it to um, the appropriate place. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I'm gonna use a lighter today. There's a little bit of paper there, but that'll be all right. Well, I think the beans are ready for um, eating, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the flame off. They're steaming a little bit. I don't want them too hot. I'm not trying to boil them or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> so just hot enough to where it's, you know, somewhat of a hot meal. Wow, they actually smell really good. Mmm. Yeah, just right. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. Alright guys, so as soon as I'm done with these beans, I'm going to try to do a, another video, and it's going to be a separate video, about my new sleeping bag. So I'm going to record it in this um, same area since I kind of have a, an area to lay down the uh, uh, sleeping bag so you guys can see it better. So definitely be looking for that to come up. Um, I'm going to edit both uh, separately and upload them, like I said, in, uh, separately. So I don't know which one is going to be done first or which one is going to... Uh, be published first so definitely be looking for that all right guys everything's packed up 
back in the uh, rucksack. We're gonna go hit the trail, but this time we're gonna head on back uh, to where I, uh, where I parked the truck and basically be done for the day. Uh, it's been a great little hiking trip, so um, uh, definitely looking forward to do another one this weekend. We may actually get to camp this weekend, so uh, uh, depends on what the weather is doing and uh, if Laurel feels better. She's been a little bit under the weather, so. Um, anyway, let's hit the trail. There seems to be a few more clouds now that there were earlier. So we're getting a little bit of a coverage from the sun. And uh, the temperature seems to be, or to have dropped a couple of degrees maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. So still perfect weather, perfect temperature. For the spring that is. Gotta love the spring. Another add-on that I've made to my gear. It's a little cheap uh, Coleman compass. I have a compass in my watch, which is very uh, reliable and very accurate. But it never hurts to have another one. So I have this one right here. Very accurate too. Um, and I also order a few of those little um, it almost looks like a button compass, but it's actually you put it in a watch. It's meant to be worn either um, in a bracelet or in your watch. So I'll be making a couple of uh, paracord bla bracelets and put those little um, compasses in there. Maybe not for me, but maybe I can make one for you know somebody else. I know my grandpa's going to want one, so he'll have one. My mom's probably going to want another one so she can have another one. And it comes in a pack of four compasses in the in the purchase. So probably make about three or four little bracelets. I know you guys probably can't tell, but this little section of the trail is just up and down. Not a whole lot of elevation gain, but very repeating up and down like a roller coaster. And, you know, getting a little winded. I'm probably carrying about... I don't know, close to 20 pounds of gear, maybe less. I forgot to weigh before I hit it out, <clears throat> but you can kind of see there the elevation of the trail. Down there is the creek. So we're not too far out from where the truck is, parked. Let's get going. So I kind of noticed that after a few miles, the um, drop leg uh, pouch, it's kind of pulling down on my belt because that's where it is. But the cool thing about the carry more, plane over here. The cool thing about the carry more is that it has these two loops along the side for you to hang things. So I think I'm going to go ahead and transfer her or transfer it a little bit higher up. So instead of being mounted to my belt, it's actually mounted to the backpack. Let's see if that makes a difference. It's about the same level anyway. Wow, big difference. Okay, I think that's gonna work, so let's keep on going. Those are very interesting. Kinda spotted them while walking right next to them. 
and to me they almost kind of look like zombie fingers coming from the ground I don't know what you guys think I think it's some kind of fungus or mushroom growing out we'll name them uh, zombie fingers for now there's definitely something very nice about hearing the water running you know going in and out or intersecting the uh, little creek down here along the trail you know you can hear it running and it just sounds so nice so we're crossing two little bridges here and every time it's just so relaxing it kind of makes me want to stay here and just kind of listen to the water listen to the birds there's cardinals everywhere But, I kind of have to head back so we've got other things to do. Camera's not going to pick it up, but there's a cardinal right there on the floor. Hopefully the camera can see a little bit of it. It's got a very nice contrast with the green and then the bright red of the cardinal. I'm glad I came out today. I was not sure if I was going to do it. If I wasn't going to do it today, then I was going to do it tomorrow because um, we had... Whoa, squirrel. Big hoss. Here she goes. You can see the tail there. Hey, that's a fat squirrel. Anyway. Um, like I was saying, we had uh, rain forecasted for today, so not just rain, but um, isolated thunderstorms. I do have a poncho and I do have a rain cover for the rucksack, but I don't know. I was going to come out on Sunday if the weather allowed, but it turned out to be a pretty nice day today. Checked the weather forecast last night and the chances for rain decreased, and when I woke up this morning, I saw that there were clear sky and a lot of sunshine outside, so decided to come out today. And uh, I'm glad I did. Even though I would love to stay out for an overnighter today, I didn't plan on, so we can't. But like I said, hopefully next weekend, I'm going to see if anybody wants to join me, either Laurel and... Uh, the rest of my family see if they want to come out for a uh, just for a quick overnighter this place is not too far from uh, where we live so it's definitely more than doable and I'm very fortunate to have this place around here all right I'm officially tired and it just kind of shows me I need to be in a little bit better shape to do these kind of long walks with a lot of gear and I've probably been walking for about five miles or so, which is not a whole lot of you think about it. So definitely need to do this more often so I can get back in uh, the shape I need to be. I know I've talked about this in several videos before, but we've got a trip coming up. Multi-day hike. We plan to do about eight miles a day for three days. So we definitely need to be in better shape to be able to uh, successfully do that trip which is coming up uh, next month so it's kind of sneaking up on us we're almost to where the truck is right there on the left there's my truck so not too far out
All right, guys, so we're back in the truck, heading home. I'm ready for a shower. It's been a very nice little day trip. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Please check us out on Facebook, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.